have with us today Stanton Mums and we have uh, not just Stanton Mums, we have a little Stanton baby that is here today as well. So I'd like to hand over now to Alicia Brennan who's one of the spokespeople, spokeswomen for Stanton Healthcare and Fiona and Yvonne and Yuselin who will be here today to bring her little baby um, to allow you to see the preciousness of life and the amazing work of Stanton Healthcare. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Bernie says, I am part of the Stanton team. I am very privileged to be part of that team uh, who help women uh, every day of the week in crisis pregnancy. But what is it we do and who are we? Our mission is to work every day to protect mothers and babies from abortion. At the heart of this important mission is the humanity and dignity of the unborn child. And for that unborn child to flourish, we need strong, confident, assured mothers. Stanton will provide that loving care to help give women the confidence to get through whatever their crisis is. At Stanton NI, we want to eliminate the crisis and protect both the mother and her child. Saving lives is what drives the hearts and minds of the pro-life people. A colossal amount of work now lies ahead to, ins to ensure that our politicians put their money where their mouth is and support the powerful work of Stanton Healthcare NI. Today, we call on our MLAs not only to uphold the right to life of all unborn children, but to support and fund this unique ministry. Thank you. So I have with me here Yvonne, who's a Stanton mum, and she's going to give her testimony now to you. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Hello, everyone. My name is Yvonne Morgan, and I shared my testimony before, as some of you have heard. I found out I was pregnant on the 4th of July 2016, a really bad time in my life. I was raising two sons as a single mommy after a divorce two years previously, and I was in the midst of a court battle which resulted in my sons and I losing our home. So a pregnancy unplanned at that time in my life, emotionally wrecked, totally fearful, I believed an abortion would save all my problems. Thanks be to God through my amazing friend Anne, I reached out to Stanton Healthcare and two ladies came to me at my home in Warren Point in my time of need. Two complete strangers at that time who have come to be treasured friends. These ladies reassured me and offered support. They helped me overcome my fear and panic for the future. And I knew with confidence from that day, Stanton Healthcare would support and help me with whatever I needed. It was through support and encouragement from these ladies that I got through such a scary time in my life and I am so thankful to Jesus for them. I don't like to think too much about what could have been, but the stark reality is I could have believed the clump of cells lie, the lie that so many women believe and killed my baby. But these ladies told me the truth. My wee baby had a heartbeat 21 days after conception, tiny but perfect. And that one wee heartbeat I would discover four weeks later at my hospital booking scan was in fact two wee hearts. I was expecting twins, twin baby girls who arrived in January 2017 and who have brought so much joy and light into my life and the lives of all of my family. Our government need to support healthcare facilities like Stanton Healthcare. The money provided for abortions should be put into places like Stanton so they can continue to support abortion vulnerable women. Stanton is there for any woman and when you have that backup support, that love and that reassurance, any woman can and will overcome any situation and they'll feel empowered to choose life for their wee baby. Each little child is a gift and irregardless of circumstance or situation, we have no right to end their life. Thank you so much. Oh, big round of applause. Thank you so much, Yvonne. And our second speaker is Fiona. Last year at March for Their Lives, I shared the story about how I was facing a coerced abortion from an abusive man who told me that he would um, 
if I didn't terminate the baby, he vowed to have my child taken away from me. I fled to Northern Ireland because at the time the laws protected my child and I stood up on stage at the March for Lives and I pleaded and I appealed to the government to please keep Northern Ireland safe for our babies. But yet on the 25th of March, um, we all seen that this law was passed and I was devastated. You know, it brought that a woman suffering from any sort of mental health can end her, the life of her baby without any gestational limit. That a nine month old baby could be taken from its mother in the name of mental health. I remember feeling at 35 weeks old, you know, at 35 weeks pregnant that I was gonna lose it. I was recalling the horrible words that the father of my baby was forcing into my head, that I was evil, that I was cruel to bring a baby into this world, that I would never be able to look after, that the father didn't want, and that I was gonna destroy lives. I managed to keep it together and have the resilience, and I did know that I was going to do it alone, and I had my baby. Yet a few weeks afterwards, I was alone and really, really struggling. I thought, did I make the right decision? Those words still in the head. I doubted myself as a mother. And I went online and I found Stanton Healthcare. And I, I sent an email in just four o'clock in the morning, just lying awake, lying next to my little baby, sleeping, fear, just constant fear that something bad was really going to happen and I was going to be punished for going against the father's wishes and bringing this child, this innocent baby into the world. Within a few hours I received a phone call from Stanton Healthcare and I was able to talk about everything that I'd gone through. I had never been able to tell anybody. I was ashamed. I didn't want my child growing up thinking that she wasn't wanted by her father and that I had I even crossed my mind that I would be able to to do this act myself but I received um, so much support and comfort and counselling almost that that I wasn't alone in these fears that actually so many women have these fears right up until the moment that they give birth I'm a big advocate for speak this speak the secret good moms have scary thoughts we are always hearing about the lack of perinatal mental health services in Northern Ireland and that there are great people trying to push those services forward. But now in Northern Ireland, women who turn to these groups, these government funded groups, are now being told that abortion is now a simple solution. But there's no counselling or support for these women who do this afterwards and as we know 4% of women after carrying out an abortion will commit suicide. And I do believe that had I done so, I don't think that I would be here today. And I have my beautiful daughter, Trinity, and I still lean on the support from Stanton Healthcare. And I just want to let people know that people in the pro-life movement get such a bad rap that they think that they only care about the baby in the womb, but that's not true. Stanton Healthcare provide the services well into a mother's journey, well into that baby's journey and provide much needed support and care whenever there's no support and care given by our healthcare services. And this is a free service that anybody can phone up. They have a 24 hour helpline. Now, during the year, we seen Alliance counsellors rip down posters and tear up stickers, which had the number of this free 24 hour helpline, standing proudly posing, saying, oh, we'll take that away. But if you try to phone an Alliance office now, they don't answer the phone. They're not there 24 hours. I tried phoning to complain about what they done and I tried six different numbers and got no answer for a whole week. So I would like to call out to those in our government, those councillors, to get behind the work that Stanton are doing and provide other services similar because we need that more than ever and I just want to thank Stanton and everything that they do.